In this video, I'll take a look at the all-in-one tool located in Backtrack, which is under the K-Menu, Backtrack, Digital Forensics, Forensics Analysis, and you'll see all-in-one. Now, before we can actually use this tool, we would have already needed to create a case with an autopsy. So I'll do that real quick, uh, clicking Autopsy. And once Autopsy runs up, we'll type in Autopsy, hit Enter, and I need to copy this URL, paste it in Firefox. So I'll right-click and copy. Notice not to hit the control C to copy because that will close this process. I'll minimize this. Open up Firefox and paste here in the URL. There we go. So now I'll go ahead and create a new case and I'll call this one case one. And I'm gonna go ahead and say new case. I'm gonna add a host. Now I'll bring up the terminal here. Actually, we'll do that after we add the image. We create a host name. Just going to leave a host one for now. Add the host. Now it's time to add the image. And so I'll click over here to add an image. And now I need to know where the image is. I'm going to pull up F disk here on the terminal to determine where my image is. F disk dash L. And I've got a hard drive here. This HDA is the hard drive for my Windows operating system that I'm currently running uh, or I currently have installed on my first hard drive and then I've got HDB which is my backtrack operating system. Now you're going to need to have plenty of room to do this um, because it's going to extract all the information out of here and so I've got 64 gigs or a little over 60 gigs here and 20 gigs here on my operating system so I've got plenty of room to run this. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. This is HDA and we're going to use partition 1. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and we'll type in forward slash DEV forward slash HDA 1. And This is going to be the partition we're going to look at. So I'll click on the partition and I'll hit next. And it's going to tell me that it is a C drive is what it's mounted as and it's NTFS. I'm going to ignore the hashes for now. And I'll go ahead and hit add and then OK. Alright, now that we've got this case set up as well as the image that we're going to look at, I'll go ahead and close Autopsy now. And I can close the route, the terminal here for Autopsy as well, the process running. And we're going to go ahead and open up all in one now. And there's all in one. Now all in one currently has uh, a little bit of a problem here in Backtrack. By default the paths that you see typed in are not accurate for this version 4 release 2. Uh, as well as the foremost in the Magic Rescue as far as our file carving don't seem to be working correctly yet. And so this is an early version. This is file. Let's go to about. This is version 0.4. It still has a little bit of glitches I think that need to be worked out. But regardless of that let's go ahead and we'll set this up path that I need to type in here for backtrack is forward slash uh, USR forward slash bin for our binary files and then we've also got um, for our target now this is going to be and I'll go ahead and show you where this is I'll type in the forward slash to start with and hit choose now we're going to need to go to the VAR folder there it is VAR and we need to go to the library let's see the LIB the autopsy folder case one and host one and what we're looking for here now is now that we're in the actual host is this host.aut file and so what we're going to do is we'll choose this now what will actually happen after we run all in one is this output file is going to be loaded with a bunch of files currently this is an empty file and we're going to extract information into our output file so I'll go ahead and hit open this is the file that I want host.aut and it's going to get loaded here in my target now this is a file path for Backtrack 4 release 2 and other operating systems of path may be quite a bit different. And so what we've currently got selected is to extract all of our unallocated, uh, extract all the ASCII strings, the Unicode strings, the ASCII strings from the unallocated as well as the Unicode strings from the unallocated, sort file types and sort images and create thumbnails. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and run this and you're going to see that some of these things aren't going to necessarily run correctly but for the most part we've got everything set up and so I'm going to go ahead and just choose OK. And This is going to take probably for a 20 gig hard drive on my comp computer it's probably going to take about 20, 
to 30 minutes and so we'll let this go ahead and run while I pause the video. When the actual all-in-one tool actually finishes it'll come back here and it'll say finished. In the meantime it'll be grayed out you'll have to wait until it finally completes before you can actually get this to be interactive with you again. And so I'm going to minimize this now. So let's take a look and see what we actually did. I'm going to open up Conqueror. I'm going to go ahead and navigate now to the uh, forward slash. I'll go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to go to the Ver folder. Let's go to the LIB folder. Let's go to the Autopsy folder. And you've got Case 1 and now I've got Host 1. And so what we've got here are these are the folders that were already created for uh, when we actually create the host using autopsy and so now if I look in the output folder you're going to see this is the output that was generated here from all-in-one and so you see there's a couple of files unallocated files that were created uh, you can go in here in the sorter and you can find some of the HTML files that were created as well to allow us to see some of the files that were created so if I click on like index.html you can see some of the things here by category uh, some of the files that were pulled out so if I go audio you can see a list of all the audio files here that are pulled out. Now one other thing that we can use this for, let me go back, is to actually use this in Autopsy itself where we can load some of this information in. So I'm going to go ahead and just start up Autopsy so you can see this and we'll minimize this. We'll go back to the K menu, Backtrack, Digital Forensics, and we're going to go over here to Autopsy. So we'll get autopsy back up and running again. I type in an autopsy. Copy this URL. I'm going to paste that in Firefox. And we'll go ahead and paste that now. Now let's go back. And we're going to go ahead and open the case we created at the beginning of this video. Case 1. I'll go ahead and hit OK. It is host 1 that we're dealing with. And we can go ahead and analyze this hard drive. So I'll click on Analyze. And what we can do here now is go to file type. And within file type, I can actually, let's see, sort files by type views. If I click on the view sorted files, <clears throat> actually within autopsy, it will not let us view it here. They're telling us where to look in the index.html, which we've already looked at as well. Uh, so what we can actually do is we can actually load it here in the keyword search instead. Actually, let's go to, and it is in the keyword search. If you look here in the keyword search, we can load unallocated. I'll click on that and it should load there for us our unallocated file space that we created out of here. And so we've been able to do that. I can go ahead and go back to the original by clicking load original. Same thing if I believe if I go to data unit, it'll also give us there it is the ability to load unallocated here for the data unit as well. And click on load original for the back. So that's using the all in one tool within backtrack.